I will everybody said about the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird's a winner, well, a bird, bird, bird. Bird is a winner, well, a bird, don't you know? I'm the bird, well, everybody knows that the bird is a winner, well, a bird, bird. The bird's a winner, well, a bird. Ba, 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 Hello, my friends. This is Birdman316 here. You notice I have my Firefly camera on the charger. Of course, it's it's good to charge them anyway, but um, I messed up slightly. Now th I got the older version of the up air one. Um, she's upside down because I want to show you something else here in a few minutes. The older version has a gimbal with the detachable Firefly camera. You notice a little plug right there. The old um, USB, mini USB, not the micro, but the mini. Now when you activate the camera and do your recording and such, always remember to turn that camera off manually because it doesn't automatically cut off and I forgot about it. I've always been good about cutting it off, but I forgot about it one day and it stayed on for near two hours. Thankfully, didn't mess the battery up. But that's good, didn't mess the battery up. Now, here are some mods that I've seen on YouTube. There's a guy by the name of uh, RC Man. He suggests that you take off that cover that's on the, uh, the factory VTX on the Up Air 1 because it gets really hot in there and causes squiggly lines and causes your FPV to break up and whatnot from the heat from the VTX, not being able to breathe. He did a mod. I'm not, I'm not trying to one-up anyone or anything. I'm not trying to do better or whatever like that. I'm just kind of taking ideas that I'm learning on YouTube and kind of thinking about them, studying them, putting my own little twist on them. Now what I did was, you notice that piece of lick sand small lick sand strip and these bolts are three millimeter they're actually from a nitro stampede uh, engine mount from old grave digger number two and they bolt right up to where the other screws come out of there you can see it right there and if you look on it where you can't really see it but uh, it's got those nuts that are built into the plastic and whatnot and I just took a piece of Lexan and cut a, uh, a rectangular shaped piece of Lexan as a strap to hold that VTX in place so it won't uh, you know, flop around and vibrate and stuff. It's only held on by two wires. You got your wire for the uh, going through the, through the body and coming down for the gimbal. I mean for the uh, VTX going through the arm. There's, there's the antenna right there. And also, these uh, little zip ties here, let me reach around here, they're not on there tight, they're just uh, anchors, if you will, should you crash so you won't rip your gimbal wires out. That would be really bad, because uh, just ask um, video joint about that, he'll tell you all about it. So, I got the idea from, actually RC Man did it too, I gotta give RC Man credit, and also... Video drone done the same thing with the gimbal. So I'm not sure who did it first, but it doesn't really matter who did it first. The point is, it needs to be done if you don't want to rip your gimbal wires all to pieces. And plus, I kind of took RC Man's idea to the next level by putting that little uh, Lexan strap across it, just just you know, for a strap to hold it in place so it won't be flopping around and stuff. I would love to find me some titanium screws. To replace those two screws with and and maybe also the these screws here for the leds and the landing gear screws and the motor screws will at least take two of them leave it deep two steel ones in there and put two titanium ones in there because those titanium ones are really strong and yet lighter and anytime you can lighten up a vehicle it'll be um less pull on the battery because the motors have to work harder. This thing weighs quite a bit. It weighs a lot. I mean, you don't want to hit anything with this or anyone with this. Or and this, this thing weighs quite a bit. 
once you put your camera in put that great big hulking battery back there and yeah it's gonna be some weight but anytime you can shed just even just a little bit hey it all adds up it adds up I just wanted to go over that with you guys and and all that good stuff I think it's very important for all up there one owners to uh, be aware of these l little modifications you can do to you know lighten it up a little bit plus let that VTX breathe if that VTX can't get no air it's gonna get hot it's gonna cause issues with your FPV screen not um, acting right um, I think the newer version has this cover the original cover just like this on here I'm not positive because this is the older version and I don't really know I can't really make that call but anyone that's got the newer version, they can chime in and see does it have that same cover, aluminum cover, big old thick aluminum cover that goes over top of that VTX. But this has been another Birdman 316 video. Sayonara.